I looked at my boyfriend's phone. Halloween night was supposed to be a celebration, a chance to escape into the magic of autumn, to let go of everything but each other. I was thrilled to see my boyfriend, our costumes on, our hearts light, as we handed out candy, sipped warm drinks, and shared laughter under a sky darkened with clouds and mystery. The atmosphere was perfect, it felt like we were in our own little world, savoring simple moments. I remember thinking how lucky I was, how happy. It seemed, then, that nothing could shake the quiet contentment settling over us like the soft October fog. But then he went to the store to grab more candy, leaving his phone behind in the rush. And I, left alone with my curiosity and a creeping instinct I couldn't ignore, glanced down at the screen, at the glowing words from his past that changed everything. I read the texts, and as my eyes moved over each one, my heart started to sink, sinking like a stone in deep, dark water. There they were words from him to her, each one a quiet betrayal, each one a little crack in my trust. They spoke of an intimacy I thought was reserved for us, a connection he assured me was long over. It felt like stumbling upon a hidden wound in the relationship, one I hadn't even realized was festering. The realization crashed over me, leaving me breathless and alone with a new and aching kind of pain. I felt tears prickling behind my eyes, threatening to spill over. My mind raced, searching for answers for something that would make this feel less real, less painful. And when he came back, cheerful and unsuspecting, he noticed something in my face, asking me what I was thinking. I forced myself to smile to hold back the storm brewing in my chest. Nothing, I said, swallowing the truth, hiding the betrayal in silence. I didn't want to ruin the night with the confrontation I felt bubbling up inside me, didn't want the magic of the evening to end in tears and accusations. He laughed, mistaking my silence for hunger, calling me hangry with a grin. Little did he know, my anger had nothing to do with an empty stomach and everything to do with an empty promise. We ordered pizza. And as he thought my silence was nothing more than hunger, I watched him, wondering how he could sit there so easily, knowing he was still tied to someone else. I asked him a simple question to steer my mind away from my thoughts. Do you want to go out tonight? or stay in. He wanted to go out, wanted to show me off, to share in the Halloween spirit. But I felt hollow, the weight of what I'd seen too heavy for me to even pretend. So we stayed in. We watched Beetlejuice, and I let myself be absorbed in the familiar lines, the silly scenes, trying to push the pain down just enough to get through the night. We shared popcorn, we laughed at the movie, and I tried to convince myself that maybe I'd misread it all, that I was overreacting. We ended the night together, and for a brief moment I forgot to hurt, but only for a moment. The morning shattered any illusions I'd managed to build. I woke up to the harsh light of day, and the truth I couldn't avoid. I burst into tears, unable to hold it back any longer. The hurt, the anger, the confusion they all crashed over me. Waves of emotions I couldn't control. How could he do this? How could he keep her close like that when he was supposed to be building a future with me? I felt like I was standing on the edge of a cliff, looking down at a version of our relationship I hadn't known existed. Desperate for clarity, I turned to someone I trusted his sister. She listened as I poured out my heart, each word a painful confession. She was understanding, and her support felt like a lifeline, a small reassurance that I wasn't going crazy. She encouraged me to talk to him, to confront him with how deeply this had hurt me, to let him see the broken pieces he'd left behind. But my anger felt like it was simmering just beneath the surface, ready to boil over. I knew that if I tried to speak it might come out as a torrent of pain and fury. How could I keep calm when this man, the one who had once saved my heart from despair, had now cracked it open with the very things he'd promised me I'd never have to worry about? We've been together nearly a year. For nearly a year, I thought we were creating something real, Something honest. I thought we were both invested in a future, in leaving past entanglements behind. I've asked him to block her three times now. Each time he assured me he would. That she was no longer a part of his life, that I was the one he wanted. But here I am, still haunted by her ghost, by the words he continues to share with her. I feel like I'm fighting a shadow, something intangible but deeply real. I don't know how to bring this up without unraveling completely without sobbing in front of him. Every time I think about the words he exchanged with her, the compliments, 
the memories he still entertains, it feels like he's carving away at my trust. Little by little. I feel defeated. I feel like I've been thrust back to the hollow place I was before I met him. Back to the loneliness I thought I'd finally left behind. It's a painful irony to think that he's the one who pulled me out of that darkness, only to push me back in. Now I'm left holding shattered pieces of something I thought was whole, something I thought was safe. Trust feels like a distant memory, replaced by an aching bitterness, a sense of betrayal I can't shake. What do I say to him? How do I bring this up without falling apart, without letting him see just how deeply he's hurt me? I want him to understand, to see that I'm not just jealous or insecure I'm hurt, because he gave a part of himself to someone else a part one thought was mine. And as much as I want to scream, to cry, to beg for answers, I feel trapped in this numbness, in this silent agony that seems to have no end. I wonder if he even knows what he's done. If he'll ever truly understand the cost of holding on to pieces of a past I thought he'd left behind.